Welcome back. It's Brett from Finding Forever Farm. So the kids have all gone off to their first day of school, which means I've got time to finish up some projects around the farm. So our first step for today is to fix the goat fence because the goats keep getting out. So I need to go and get some cattle panels from Tractor Supply. But I ran into a slight problem of how to transport these cattle panels home. Because you see, I do not have a pickup truck and they don't deliver them. <laughs> and everywhere online, it talks about how you can transport them in your pickup truck. So I've got the trusty minivan. I've put up the roof racks and we're gonna head over to Tractor Supply. Let's go. All right, so we just got out of Home Depot. We got a couple of two by four by 12s. We are gonna put them on the top and they are gonna be able to hold the cattle panels. Okay, so we made it from Home Depot over to Tractor Supply. Nothing has moved. We're gonna put the cattle panels on top of that and hold all those down and hope we can get home. <laughs> Basically, we took zip ties and put them all around everywhere, and then I zip tied them with longer zip ties to the 2x4x12. So there's a little bit of an overhang because the cattle panels are 16 feet. And here we go. Let's hope. Fingers crossed, guys. The one time in life I'm not complaining about being stuck behind farm equipment <laughs> is when I've got a whole bunch of cattle panels on my roof. <laughs> We will go nice and slow. I'll stay right behind you, Mr. Tractor. the goats are not going to get out of this one. So there you have it folks, mom van pulled through again. We went about 25, 35 on back roads. I wouldn't suggest doing it on the main highway or anything like that. We had to go about eight miles, but it worked out perfectly. Probably will do it again soon. If you enjoyed this tip, make sure you subscribe and like if you want to find out what we do with these cattle panels here on Finding Forever Farm. Come join us again. Happy farming!